is happening in imagination. It's not real. Because it's infinite. It can be anything. Now it goes in the ocean. It's being a fish. It's a beautiful goldfish. But then it gets bored of just being a goldfish. Now it wants to be an octopus. Then it says, okay, I've been these different things. Now I want to be a badass barracuda. I want to be a shark. I want to be this thing that everyone's afraid of me. Now I want to be food for this thing. So it can be, it's everything simultaneously in the infinite universe, in other planets, in other places, simultaneously experiencing everything. And if you were, you are this infinite, wouldn't you want to do the same thing? Don't you want to experience everything? Or you have infinite powers and you're going to limit your powers in just the white forces and angels. Oh my God, you're going to be bored after a couple million years. How long do you want to be angels and be the white forces and be the Christ? Don't you want to, uh, don't you want to be Al Capone? Don't you want to be a badass gangster too? Don't you want to experience it all? Why would you want to experience only one aspect of life if you can be everything else? Let me ask you something. How many people know Michael Jordan, who's known as the best basketball player ever lived? Or let's say, who's a very, who's a modern athlete? Let's say Christian Ronaldo or Messi. Okay, football player, right? You guys know Messi? If you can be messy for a day or two or a week, would you want to be messy or not? If you can shift to a different body, how many of you are really super happy with your body? How many of you, if you can change your body, upgrade it right now to a much more stronger, younger, healthy body, how many of you will go for it? D tell me the truth. Don't act like you're cool. If I can upgrade my body to a much more powerful, taller, bigger, faster, younger body right now, I would do it in a second. Why wouldn't I? A 25-year-old body that doesn't have any pains and aches. All I have to do is sleep for four hours. I can go out all night and do whatever I want. Go to bed at two in the morning and wake up at six in the morning, fresh, strong, vibrant. Much better than the old one. Why wouldn't I try that? So if you have the choice to experience, let's say that if they give me a choice to be a woman, Zarathustra, you can be a woman for a week or two, far out. Of course, I'm going to go for it. What is it like to be a woman? I don't know. I've always imagined that, but I've never experienced it directly. Why don't I? Zarathustra, would you like to be a fish for a week? Sure. Would you like to be a bird? Do you want to be able to fly? Who would say no? If I give you an option to be able to fly, who would say no? Who would not want to experience flying? To be a bird, to be a hawk or an eagle or an whatever bird you want to be. So same thing with the absolute, the infinite. We call it, we use the words, the absolute, the infinite, 
Her Majesty, the Supreme Being, the Supreme Soul, simultaneously experiencing everything, all of us. That's my answer to your question. Why would God create this world? Because God wants to experience every different angle of this world simultaneously. Because it can. Because it's infinite. Because it's in everything as it is here right now. So once you start to switch your consciousness and the way you look at it, and once you start to recognize that, wow, okay, everything I look at, everything that ever existed, it's an expression of the absolute. It's an expression of God, all of it, including myself. Everyone I'm looking at on the streets, anyone that I come in contact with is an expression of God. That means it's a different expression of myself. It's, it's my own self. I'm always looking at my own self. The evil companies, the corporations, the terrorism, the racist, the good guys, the bad guys, they're all my own self. They're all me. It's me I'm looking at. So how would your life change if you start to look at it that way? Will you still be in this place that you're really frightened? Don't you think if you start to recognize that you're only looking at your own self, there's only one here that appears to look like so many different ones, do you think you still will be manipulated? You still will be afraid? You will be afraid of death. You would be afraid of what's going to happen to you. Or fear begin to disappear. Here's another angle of looking at things for you to get a better idea that why this world is not real. We talked about the fact that it can hold its to its own structural integrity. It cannot save itself the way it is. So it's constantly changing from one thing to another. If it was 100% real, it would stay the same all the time. It wouldn't change from one thing to another. So you could hang on to it, but you can't because it's changing. So you're trying to hang on to something that doesn't remain the same, including yourself. You're trying to hang on to this that is changing all the time. So no matter what you try to do, it changes from one thing to another. But let's look at things from another point of view. Let me give you another angle of looking at it. And this may help you. What happens to the world that you're so concerned about? Some of you are very, very gone ho very invested in it, really trying to save the planet Earth, the Mother Earth. 